So far, using the jQuery uh, corner rounding plugin, I've rounded a couple corners uh, in my in my uh, page over here. But actually, if we look back at this plugin's uh, informational page over here, its demo page, we see that it has a bunch of different options for all these different effects from round, bevel, notch, and all this. And I want to show you actually two things in this video. One, how to apply this effect to that and it's actually just passing the options over here inside of the corner and it, they get pretty sophisticated if you keep on looking how you could do just a top corner just a round corner and, and define more things like borders and all that and the other thing is how to set up a couple of different styles so let's first just see how to use some of these different options over here looking over at my code for my rounded I, I gave let's just let me just give you a recap of what I did I gave my my header my left and right columns both a class called rounded and that class if we look up at the head portion of my CSS um, I'm sorry of my HTML document is just passing the most generic option possible and that's corner rounding it, it's not doing anything more than that right here now if I want to change the way I um, I have like sorry the style of of the corner rounding I have all these options over here so if I want it beveled I just use this bevel call over here in, inside of quotes and I put that right in the middle like so right there and what I'll do once I save it I could reload my holy grail layout and now these corners should change to beveled corners let's see if it happens there we go see that becomes beveled pretty good and obviously if you look all the different options that are listed on the page over here we have we have notch all these different ones so so once you figure out the, that the one that works best for your site you have all these different ways of doing it and of course when you keep on going down the page I mean everything wicked fray long tons and tons of stuff um, there's actually you could also tell it says which corners you want to do so if you want to do top uh, bottom top left right all that so this is going to tell you if you just want like let's see just bevel top it's just going to bevel all of those you just kind of want to make sure I just copy and paste the syntax and now I guess what this is going to do is I'm assuming that once I refresh this these bottom corners won't be rounded and only the top yep that's the case and let's let's see what other options there are there's just, you know I guess there's a there's a couple of them just copy and paste it in there let's see top left I'm assuming that's going to be TL top left there we go so now it's only the top left portions as you can see right here are being affected. Um, let's see what other options they have. Probably the other very useful option is going to be actually defining. Yeah, here we go. The specific size of the rounding you want. I, actually, I just like the the plain rounding for this. I'm not a big fan of all that other stuff. But if I put inside the quotes over here a actual value for what I'm going for, let's say we put 40 pixels and I'll save this what this is gonna do now is when I look over my layout alright see it, it's it's really affecting the radius of that of that of that uh, rounding so obviously if I put in 10 it's gonna change it significantly there we go so you're gonna play around and see what works for you I mean there are really a ton of ton of options to use over here as you can see how to put borders and all that stuff you could get to play around with this and the other thing I would say is that you could add more than just one different class over here so for example this is just called rounded but say I wanted my my left one to be rounded like that but I wanted the right one to be I don't know more rounded all I would do to create multiple like multiple different classes that do this is I would take this code and I would just copy it and paste it and let's say we'll say I have two rounded and then this other one's gonna be why don't we say 
more rounded and you see how they're they're both similar to CSS they're both separated by semicolons over here now I have two different declarations and I could go on and create as many as many as I want to at this point all with uh, I don't know we'll do the bevel and then we'll 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 do over here bevel so now what I'll do is I'll apply those two different classes so I have one that's I have my one div header will keep rounded we'll go down to where I have the left and we'll put left we'll put bevel and then we'll put the right to be more rounded and now we're gonna see yeah alright you see everything has a little bit different look to it the left is beveled the right has that I guess 10 percent rounding or 10 pixel rounding and the I'm sorry the header has the 10 pixel rounding and this one has the 20 or whatever we set uh, for it so that's all it took really to to do two different things we have different options we could use on them and then in order to make multiple uh, to make different styles, you know, different classes that are going to affect them differently, we could separate those by semicolons within that declaration.